Here's 15 Rust tips and tricks that 99% of players don't know. Did you know you can actually turn off the rain sounds in Rust? All you have to do is go to your audio settings and change the speaker mode to mono, and then change it back to stereo. After you've done this, there won't be any more rain sounds, but you can still hear everything else. If you're ever on a tugboat in the middle of the ocean and you run out of fuel, one thing you can do is place two bear rugs just like this, and you'll be able to push the tugboat. Now it's not the best, but it's better than nothing. As I'm sure you know, 556 ammo is a tier 2 blueprint, but did you know you can craft it with only a tier 1 workbench? You can do this by crafting a mixing table. Then as long as you already have 556 ammo learn, you'll be able to craft it inside a mixing table. And just like that, you've crafted some 556 without a tier 2. Next, I'm going to show you some settings that you should change. The first setting you're going to want to change is grass displacement, as when it's turned on, it's way easier to find drop weapons on the floor. Here's what it looks like with grass displacement turned off. The next setting you're going to want to change is max shadow lights. As you can see, having max shadow lights set to zero can help you see things in the dark, which is why I'd recommend changing it. Did you know if you put a cassette recorder on a workbench, you can no longer pick up the workbench with a hammer, at least until you remove the cassette recorder. With this in mind, if you hide the cassette recorder with a small box, chances are no one's going to know how to pick it up if you get raided. If you're ever flying a minicopter and you need to land quickly, one thing you can do is crash into chain link fences around the map, as for some reason, crashing into these won't damage the mini. Whenever you use night vision goggles, there's always this annoying sound. To get rid of it, all you have to do is use an emote, and just like that, the sound's gone. At launch site, if you're ever at the top and you want to get down really quickly, all you have to do is jump into one of these four buildings, and as you can see, you won't take any fall damage. If you're ever at the top of dome and you want to get down quickly, all you have to do is find this pipe and slide down in between it, and as you can see, you won't take any damage. The next tip is to start using pay to win items, such as door skins with windows. Now having a window on your door can let you know if you're getting door camped. Another pay to win item is the arctic suit, having this lets you give any hazmat suit 33% cold resistance. Did you know you can place oil refineries inside the legacy shacks and still get in and out easily? If you're ever low on HP, you can drink water to heal up to 40 HP. You can also drink water to get rid of radiation poisoning. The next tip I have is to subscribe to the channel, this makes sure that you never miss another video just like this one. And the final tip is to watch this video where I go over one tip for every monument in Rust.